Hey guys. So we just went to an apple orchard slash vineyard and we decided to go plant shopping because that's what alcohol does. Oh no. <laughs> um, I have Dino here with me um, and we're just gonna go to Rose Floral. It's in Stillwater, Minnesota. And they are known to have really cute like plant installations where they take random products and things and then they plant plants into it. And then they're also known to have just really good pricing, good deals, sales, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna go check it out and see what they have. All right, so we are at Rose Floral Greenhouse. Um, great outdoor area. They have a lot of outdoor plants and right now it's fall. So they got a lot of pumpkins. We go in and it's just, such fall vibes they have a cute complimentary coffee spot that's not there all the time so i love that and then they have this piano installation with so many plants planted into it it's seriously amazing like i wanted to get home but yeah i'm just gonna show you guys around um you guys will see um they allow you to pick a pot and then a plant and the plant it for you which I've taken advantage of that a few times and it's been super nice. And they have a ton of pots to choose from, like all these neutral ones, terracotta ones, and then they have a bunch of decorative ones that you'll see. Um, but yeah, and a lot of just like garden things, a lot of garden stuff. They have a pink pin princess philodendron. They have a few of them. I think they're a little on the pricier side, but still nice. They're planted up for you. Um, this Tradescantia, you guys, was mesmerizing. Like, so mesmerizing. Look at it. I had to literally show you how big it was compared to me. Like, ugh. And I think that's a spider plant. Planted in with it. I think it's a really beautiful combo. Then we have these little guys. Little terrarium plants. Um, some Sansevieria. Which are technically called Dracaena now, but I'm always going to call them Sansevieria. And then we have a really happy bird of paradise. Yeah, you guys can see more pots. Um, they have these really cute animal pots. And I just thought they were so adorable. I really like um, the elephant ones and like the llama ones. I should have taken one home. They're really cute, but I didn't decide to get one. They have so many. Then they had this. Um, I don't know why I'm blanking on what it's called. I've seen this plant so many times, but this one was huge. It was climbing so high. I don't remember if it's a type of orchid or what. You guys have to comment and let me know if you know. And they have a really happy, lush green Congo. Um, yeah, just so like happy. My green Congo loves life. Super easy going plant. And then look, I literally, oh my God. So like I've been here before when they've had Thai constellations and every single time these plants are massive and they always have such beautiful variegation. Um, I was so tempted, you guys, like look how big these leaves are and they have like triple fenestrations, just so freaking perfect. And look at that variegation, like so much sectoral creamy variegation. I seriously, you're going to see me coming back to this plant so many times because I was really debating it. It's 950, which isn't bad for how big and mature it is. But then just keep in mind, I don't know if you saw the sign at the beginning, but it's 30% off. So 30% off of 950, I think that makes it only like seven something, which it's still super expensive for a plant, don't get me wrong. But for that plant, I think it was a good deal. Then you got some anthuriums. You have all these beautiful house plants. They were just so lush. Got some peperomias. Like I it was such a dream just walking through here. It was such a jungle vibe. This anthurium almost came home with me. I believe it's a Jemani. Might be wrong. 
And then these peperomias. Um, they said it was just a ripple peperomia. I don't know the specific like species, um, but look at it. It's such fall vibes. And then this one, these spider plants had the green awards. I think that's from the Minnesota State Fair where they're judging house plants and sizes and things. So I thought that was really cool. And then I believe this, is this Charlie Stromanti or is this ginger? I think it's variegated ginger. Then they had a couple plants on the side that aren't for sale, but just had to be shown off. Like this plumeria, look at it. It's a tree. It's literally a tree. And they have extensions to the greenhouse. We didn't go back there, but there's like another greenhouse in the back. And then they had some philodendrons. They had jungle boogies, which is one of my favorite easygoing plants. And then they had these summer glories. Um, they were really big. I've been debating getting one of these. It's a gloriosum cross of some sort. Forgot what it's crossed with. But it was actually a pretty big summer glory plant for not too bad of a price. Then you've got the goldie eye, philodendron goldie eye, which you guys know I love. I have one that you guys saw on my plant tour. Some really full ZZ plants. Um, more philodendrons. Yeah, just so much. They got these money trees. Um, I really like that it's actually a tree stump versus the braided stem or trunk. So I'm super happy about those. Those were catching my eye for sure. And then you got your typical succulents and aloe. They had some Hoyas, some pretty nice looking full pots of Hoyas. Um, Crimson Princess, some Compactas, Crimson Queens. Yeah, quite a lot. Like you guys can see this place has so many plants. So, so many plants. Everything is so big and lush and just like super happy, which is refreshing. I mean, lately I feel like I've been going to some places and I just see plants kind of sick. So it's really refreshing. Some Baltic Blue Pothos. I was tempted to get one of those. I haven't gotten one yet. And then they've got some Monstera Perus. They actually are all fairly full. So they look very healthy, which is nice. Um, 45 bucks. Not too bad. I remember when those were like super expensive. And then they got some cute little hanging pots and some cacti, succulents. They do a really good job at creating arrangements, which I like. And then there's this guy. This was a pickle plant. I remember when this one was very popular. Like everybody was obsessed because it just looks like it has a bunch of pickles on it. <laughs> And then they've got, honestly, a pretty fair, even share of, like, cacti and succulents, which is pretty cool. If you're into that, like, it's a really good shop for that. Some string of turtles. Lots of hanging pots, which is nice. Um, and they're all really affordable. And, yeah, a lot of, like, water features, garden features. Um... Again, more arrangements. They do a really good job with that. I loved these Halloween spooky eyeball planters. I should have gotten one. I do regret not getting one. So vibey. More succulents. Lots and lots of succulents. Like I said, I'd say it's maybe like half or a third succulents, a third of outdoor plants and a third of house plants so it's a pretty even all around which is pretty cool so many succulents a lot of them were flowering which was really nice This one was so pretty. I almost got this one too. I don't remember what it's called, but I just love a lush trailing plant. And then you've got these massive jungle boogies. Like massive. I seriously, you guys, I have a pretty big jungle boogie. Otherwise, I would have gotten one because it looks like there's like 10 plants in the pot. And then, yeah, this plant was really cool. I don't know if it's a ficus or what, but it was just 
trailing the greenhouse, which is pretty sick. I love seeing that. And then you got some painted lady philodendrons. They look a little sun stressed or sun bleached. Um, and they're a little pricey for maybe what I would pay for them. But yeah, and then they had this really pretty Calathea. What is it? Like Orbifolia. Not too bad of a price. More Calatheas, which actually all looked fairly healthy. Some bromeliads. Ferns. This one, I believe, isn't this a Sissus uh, Amazonica? I know I showed the uh, Latin name, which I have no clue, but yeah. And then they have these cute pots. So many cute pots. And they're all just like everywhere. Air plants. A lot of air plants. Ferns. Pretty good selection. Kogidama. Those were all really nicely put together. They had these Anthurium Clarinerviums, which was really exciting for 60 bucks. I think that's pretty good if they're really healthy. And most of them had like a couple plants in the pot. And then I spotted one that was not like the others. Look at that. You guys, that is not a Clarinervium. That's a cross. Um, I think it's a cross between a Clarinervium and like the anthurium fingers i don't remember why i can't think of the name it starts with an h i believe but that is not just your typical clarinervium because look at the top you can tell you can tell it's different then they had all these alocasias which i mean it's crazy to think that not too long ago you couldn't find these really and now i just feel like places are overflowing with them is that just me i don't know it could just be like a minnesota thing too but our nurseries are just overflowing with alocasias right now. And not too bad of pricing, too. Um, they used to be super overpriced. And, yeah. Like, I... This is absolutely one of my favorite nurseries to come to in the Twin Cities. So I super recommend it. Again, like, another pretty water feature. Another Thai constellation. Like, I'm telling you, like... I think about this all the time and every time I go to this nursery, I'm so tempted to take one home. I, I'm still thinking about this while I'm doing this voiceover recording. I I don't need another big one. I already have a really big one. I don't know where I'd even put another really big one, but we'll see. But yeah, and then they had this Raphidophora tetrasperma climbing this little overhang thing. So freaking cute. They're really big on these like fairy garden trinkets and little um, figurines. And you're gonna see how amazing their fairy garden is. Like, just wait for it. A lot of fall stuff. Seriously, if my patio wasn't under construction, I'd be picking up so many of these mums and planters. Ah. The fairy garden. Look at how amazing. Like, huge props, outstanding work to their team because every time I come here, this is looking just immaculate. Oh, these ring of fires. Ring of fires, what were they? A thousand dollars. That's that's quite a lot, but they were really big, I will say. They were pretty, pretty big, um, but kind of pricey for maybe what I would pay. Some really happy, lush monsteras. They had your typical, like, heteraceums, Brazil, um, micans. Just really happy, lush, full plants. Some adansonias. I wish adansonias liked me. They don't. They like my boyfriend. He does a great job with adansonias, but they just seem to hate me. And then they had some of the triubii, the syndapsis. Trubii Moonlights, they have a lot of like water, salt, mineral deposits on them, like on their leaves. So you would definitely have to like wipe those down, but not too bad. More Syndapsis. Tons of Syndapsis. And then another freaking crazy jungle boogie. Like I'm telling you, if you wanted a jungle boogie, go there and get one. Oh, I could not stop staring at this Monstera, you guys. Like, it was so cool. And a plant was vining inside of the fenestrations. Like, oh my gosh. 
So cool. I love that. And then they had a good selection of philodendron silver swords. I liked that this time they had a lot of different sizes at different price points. I really like when businesses do that because personally for me, I have my wishlist plants, but sometimes the certain plants will only fit in areas of my home. And at times I'm looking for smaller plants and other times I'm looking for bigger plants. More Monstera Peru. They had this, I believe it's a Raphidophora de Cursiva. But I think they call it Philodendron Dragon Tail, but it's a de Cursiva. Oh, and then here we are again, back at the Thai constellations. Oh, I guess I'm going to show you a Domino Peace Lily first. Honestly, I had one of these. I don't remember. I think I gave it to my mom before I moved, but yeah. And then they have some small selection of Aglianemas. Um, and then a decent amount of some fairly common Syngonium, which is nice. They're all pretty like full pots. I love the color of this one. Some different types of pothos. Um, yeah, you can just see, like, isn't it a jungle in here? Love it. Love it. Lots of hanging planters. Got some Sansevieria. Or a Gestracina, but I'm still calling it Sansevieria. I was tempted to get one of these whale fins. They look just really healthy and happy. I actually don't have one yet, so we'll see. Some nice smaller pots of Syngonium and Pothos and whatnot. This pink one was so cute. Just so girly. And it was only six bucks. We want, we want affordable plants. We like that. Oh my god, you guys, this ficus elastica tinnicky, tinnicky, I can never pronounce it. Look at those leaves, literally all white. I almost got it, but those, those plants don't like me. You always have to show off the greenhouse kitty. Literally such a jungle kitty. Oh, we're back at the fairy garden now. Um, things are literally flowering out of their fairy garden. Like, how amazing is that? And look how full... Like, oh my god, seriously, goals. I can't imagine what it took to get this all set up. This is like the back side of it now. Before I showed you guys the front side, but this is like the back side. Like, imagine how much time went into putting this together. I don't even know if I could do this in a small container, let alone a giant table. Then, like I said, they have outdoor stuff, so they had a lot of like Different bulbs that you can start planting now. Some like wind chimes. A bunch of, you know, a variety of things. This is like, we're back at the front area now because there's two front doors. And they have this really cute vintage desk. I told you they do a good job at plant installations. So they just have a cute like vintage phone, which I hate saying vintage because like my family had a phone like that. <laughs> um, and like computer and light and they just... I love how creative they get when they start planting into things like this Dell computer. I don't know. I think it's great. It's very artistic. I was an art major in school. And so I really appreciate stuff like this, especially installations. And someday I hope I can do that. Maybe when I get a house and then they have just really nice. Um, what I would say is like living room, coffee table type items. So like, coffee table books and a puzzle and just really nice um, selection of things that you could even get as gifts. I almost got a book. I should go back and get a book. Oh my God, look, I'm back at the Thai constellations. I told you I go here literally multiple times. It's just, it. they are so pretty. So, so pretty. I have to appreciate it. And I always am thinking like, could I get another? Where would I put it? But, you know, a little spoiler, I did not buy one. <laughs> I, it's like literally the second or third time I've gone and I haven't bought it, but I just have to sit there and think about it and look at it for, for so long. And I'm just looking at Dino like, 
could we could we do it <laughs> um but yeah i did make some purchases you guys will see what i got i also picked up a few little like dollar gourds because i want to decorate for fall and yeah they had this really cute guy outside oh my god i love halloween okay so this is what i got got this cute peperomia um an anthurium that i don't think is actually a clarinervium as you guys knew from my video and a money tree this is the stump version um i really really wanted a stump version of it versus like the braided um the braided trunk or stump or stem whatever um but yeah i think total what is in total yeah for everything for these three including whatever this is um i spent like 69 we also got like three gourds so because we have to decorate for fall so yeah i don't know i think it was a pretty good time and i was very surprised at the selection i think they actually got a rare houseplant shipment or uncommon houseplant shipment in because i follow them on social media and i haven't seen them post about anything um so yeah it was actually a really pleasant surprise and i'm really happy that we went so yeah so yeah um don't forget to like and subscribe and you guys can also follow my instagram at planted personalities and yeah see you guys next time bye